Okay guys, here's a different video today. I had a couple of people message me and ask me um, if I would flip through my swatch book. Um, they see me using it all the time and I know y'all see me show you different pages out of it and whatnot. But somebody, uh, like four or five people actually asked me if I would just do a quick flip through. So, I'm just going to do a quick flip through. This is an Erin Condren notebook that I got several years back. I love me some Erin Condren, but that's a whole other ball game right there with my planners and all that. So, um, at the beginning of the book, I have um, Prisma um, swatches, color schemes that I really, really like. And I'll put them together like this so I'll remember because my Prismas are my favorite. Prismas and um, polychromos. So, let's see. And then um, <clears throat> another color, color combo. And here we have uh, Claire Holloway. She was doing a um, tutorial on Joanna Basford page that I followed along religiously with every video. Um, and I liked her color combos on the tree house, the sky, um, lantern, the sea, the sand and all that. Um, the sunset, the lantern, um, and this is like for a mushroom. So I just kept this going. Um, this one, I don't remember who posted this. Um, I could not remember. I just wrote the names down really fast as she was going along. She did a Prisma Galaxy Rainbow with a, um, uh, what's his name? Kirby, with a Kirby, um, picture. And it looked all spacey and it had constellations and stars. And this was the color scheme that she used. And it was so beautiful. I used it too on a, um, a, a Kirby picture. It's on my Instagram. If you guys are interested, it's, it's, Go check it out. It's Orion's Girl 93 on Instagram. And then here we go. I got some flowers that I did that I like the color combos, berries, and leaves. So it's something to think about when you, you know, you find a color combo that you really, really like. I just, I can see it in the flesh. And then I can just go grab those pencils, you know. All right, let me get to the, got some blank spots here. I have no idea why I started doing these from the back. So my very, very first um, thing that I ever bought, I started back here, and then I'm working my way to the front. No idea why, but we're just going to go for it. Look how much that bleeds. Those are Jane Davenport mermaid markers. They bleed terrible, but they are gorgeous, especially this uh, shimmering sky one. Look at their shine. Isn't that gorgeous? And then her celestial ones, too. Oh, I love anything sparkly. Um, these are the celestial. These are the sun bleached, shipwrecked, original, um, and the shimmering sky. These are her paint over pens. I just um, put some of her different colors down. And then I. this is the paint over pen colors. And then I went over it to see how it would, you know, go over different colors. Just testing it out. Also Jane Davenport. Um, Jane Davenport, her original mermaid markers. This is some art philosophy. Um, I have these right here. Art philosophy metallics, which are gorgeous, but it's another one of those products that has a very strong odor. So may not be able to keep that. I wish that more companies would put a warning on their products for people like me who have bad asthma and stuff like that triggered it. So I wouldn't buy all this stuff. Um, her watercolors, then the brights, the neutrals, and the glitzy. I love all her watercolors. This is some chameleon nature tone markers that I got. And they were on sale, Hobby Lobby, like two bucks. I said, well, let me try them. They're terrible. They are so, so horrible. I just did 
um, one, two, three different colors. After 15 minutes, that's all I got. 15 minutes right here. 15 minutes, and then you can see the process down here. Count up the minutes. And then same thing for this green. The green was terrible. You cannot see it. I threw them things in the trash. They are garbage. Uh, no, they're garbage. They do bleed through too, really bad. Um, this is Sergeant Woodless flesh color mar uh, pencils, but they bled over them. Um, this is uh, fine touch mixed color. This is pentallic woodless pencils. This is the Art Grip Faber Castile Aquarelle colors. I love these. These are one of my favorites. Uh, oh, I did it over since it got bled on here. The Sargent Flesh Colors. The let me go up a little bit. See if we can get a little closer. The um, Fine Touch Pencils and the Pentallic Wood Lips Pencils. And these are my Arteza pencils. Absolutely love them. Oh, look at them gorgeous and I use them all the time so yes Arteza the colors are amazing look at them oh I'm not sure if I did a video on them or not I'm gonna have to if I didn't these are my babies I love the black widows oh my gosh I did a um side by oh, I did a side by side so I could quickly tell you know where they are, what they are. This is the Black Widow Spider, the Scorpion, and the Cobras. And this is, before I had done this, I had them separate. So this is the Black Widow Cobras. This is some erasable Parco gel pens. Um, this is the Color gel pens. Right here. So I got some shiny ones by color. Okay. This is the oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna be able to pronounce this. The shipper 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 for <laughs> Y'all come on now. You know I'm not good with that. Shapir Farben I can't even open it. 72 colored pencils. I have used these a lot. I love them. They're so pretty and smooth. Oh my gosh, love them. So, and then I always try to write um, what I think about them. And I always give them a number between 1 and 10. You know how much I like them. So, this is some Copics that I had. They were actually my daughters, and they were um, five, over five years old. And when she came home from college, she had them in a box, stuck them away. We found them five years later, and they are still just juicy and gorgeous. So probably eight years or more that she had these. And they just still look as beautiful, and they blend just as well as they always did. So... This is the Gel B, um, the Gel B um, gel pencils. Not very, not very shiny. They were not my favorite. And then we got the Kuretake watercolors. Uh, this is the Starry colors, and um, the I'm sorry, the Pearl and the Starry colors. And now these are gorgeous. Look at the shine you get on these. Oh my god, my favorite. I love these. I have videos on this, so go check that out. This is the Prismacolor Premieres. I just recently did a video on these. Gorgeous markers. That's just them bleed through. This is Stadler Duo Markers. I don't have those on hand, but yeah, these are the Stadler Duo markers. Um, bright colors, but I don't like the tip because they have this weird, I don't even know how to describe it, weird round kind of thing going on, and then, I don't know, it's kind of like a, um, a church steeple. It's very odd. I don't, I don't know how to explain it unless you had it. 
The colors are nice though. So for big spaces in your art or your coloring books, it's it's nice. They're nice for that. Okay. These are some markers that I can actually use. They don't have an odor. The Windsor Newton Pro Marker Flush Colors. You can see them pretty good right there. And then we got the metallics, which are pretty shiny, except for this red gold. Didn't like that one very much. Um, and then we got the greens and the different browns. They're, they're a little expensive, so I just ordered um, a couple sets. As I go, I'll, I'll get more sets. Um, and these are seriously some of the best markers I have tried. They are gorgeous. I love them. They color really well. Um, this is another black scorpion. And these are the uh, Civo or CBO. I'm not sure how you pronounce them. But this is the Civo pencils. And believe it or not, these are very, very cheap. I got them at Walmart. Oh, look at that. It won't focus. I got these at Walmart, believe it or not. And they were like under 10 bucks. And they're very bright, very vivid. They go on very smooth. They blend nice. Um, oh, my light's getting worse. I won't focus. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it very well. But the colors are so pretty. On my Instagram, I did a um, Alice in Wonderland. Almost the whole entire page was those pencils, if you want to check that out. This is Statler pencils. Very bright, very smooth. Um, my only issue with these are you get a lot of colors that look the same. A lot of double looking colors. These look the same. These look the same, same. You didn't get a very big variety. They look a lot alike. These look exactly the same. These two. So, eh. um, I mean, I like them. They work well. I just wished the colors were different. Um, Sharpie pens. Liquid pearls up here. I really didn't like the liquid pearls too much when they came out. So, I only got a few. This, though, is my stickle collection so far. Look at those. I love how they sparkle. I just love sparkle. I can't deal. I use these a lot in my coloring books and my little art projects. I have to keep track of them or I'll keep buying the same ones over and over again. This is my color it pencils. Um... I found that these work better on the Color It paper. The Color It books have some really, really awesome paper. Um, they, they're nice colors. They break very easily. I didn't like that at all. They do come numbered. Not a huge variety of colors, but they do work better on the Color It paper. So, just what I'm saying. Okay, what else we got? Um, these are the Smooth S M O O V gel pens, which I think are amazing. They wrote really, really well. Looks like um, this smooth. They are very, very pretty. I mean, I don't have any trouble with these skipping or anything like that. They work consistently all the time. They have pretty colors too. All right, and then we got the Stadler watercolor crayon. Um, these were okay. Um, they left a lot of the color behind, like when I would color in with the crayon, you see, and then you I put the water on it, it just didn't blend out very good. Some of the colors I've had better watercolors than this, is what I'm trying to say. And then the gelatos, these are the Faber Castile gelatos, which everybody's buying and going crazy over them, but these are terrible. I absolutely hate these. Look, I mean, I would just draw 
a, a, you know, swatch it and then go over it and it just did not blend out. It left them, you know, the, the middle part like that. I wanted to just smoothly color out, you know. That, aren't they? That's terrible. I'm sorry. I don't use these anymore at all. Um, that's another Black Widow. This is my Stadler Fine Liners. These are great. I love these. I'll use them all the time. Nice little tiny, tiny point, if you can see it. They work beautifully. No issues with them. Um, this is my Reeves watercolors. They blend out a lot better than the gelatos, I have to say. See, I mean, you still have a little bit when you try to blend it out after you um, color on it. But that's only like one of maybe two, three out of all of these. And the colors, these blue is so pretty. Okay. Let's see. The Coran Diage fan color pencils. Um, I like them, but uh, I wish they were brighter. If you like pastel colors and light colors, then you will love these. Just, I, I like more bright and vivid colors, so I don't use these very often, but they do blend out pretty good for the most part. This is my Neo Color 2 Coran Dash. Um, love these. They blend out really good. I love the colors. Really, really pretty, pretty colors you get, and they're very vivid. I love my Neo Colors. This is my Prisma Premieres, all of them. I have every one in this set. I need to get some more because they're getting really, really tiny. But I love being able to reference this book. I love this book. Um, this is Color Pencils. I like the colors, but they don't cover very well. You have to go over and over and over to get this coverage. Let's see. We've got the True Color watercolors. They're again; these are very muted, but they um they do blend out pretty good. Real soft pastel. This is the Marco um, Marco Refine or Marco Rafine. I've heard it both ways. The lead is very hard. Um, the coverage isn't the best. You, um, it is very hard. They don't go on smooth at all. You really have to go over and over this one too. I mean, I'm just pressing hard to get these colors. Um, but you know, I still occasionally use them. This is some more watercolors. This is Color and Doodle. Nice colors. They blend it out pretty well. You get a good variety of colors. Nice. I use those um, pretty often. Um, gel pens. These are the Lollies. L-O-L-L-I-Z. The Lollies gel pens. And then this is the Lolly's pencils, color pencils. These, I hated. They were terrible. I gave these away. Um, the gel pens, anything with a dot means that they did not work or they were skipping or I hate them. So I probably threw those in the trash. Um, but I do have some. I still use them occasionally. This is my Posca pens. This is my Posca Metal Metallics. Glitter and Metallics. They're so pretty. And they go over everything. Um, this is Gel Riders. And this is Crafty Croc. I really like Crafty Croc. They, they, they had some good ones. And they, they got pretty good coverage, too. The Gel Riders, too. I, really, I still use the Gel Riders a lot. 
nice colors. The Crafty Croc has the best um, neons that I've seen. A lot of the neons just don't work properly. Um, here we go. The uh, Amazing Colors gel pens. This is the pastels and the neons. We've got the glitter ones. And then this is Color Technique pencils. Well, those are all gel pens. I'm sorry. These are flare glitter gels. These are my favorite, favorite gel pens that I use. I even keep them separated from all the other um, gel pens because I just go to these so quickly. I love them. Um, let me show you. They're so pretty. They cover so well. I'm completely out of the gold now. I have to buy another box, another set of these. The color technique, um, pretty good. I gave them an eight, so. And the glitter ones, um, the amazing color brand. And then this is the Oh Hue Hue pencils that I bought because I really liked the Oh Hue Hue um, markers. So I wanted to try the pencils. They got pretty good colors. Pretty good coverage. You know, they're not Prismas. They're not Polychromos, but they work when you need them. They have good colors on them. I really enjoyed um, working with these sometimes. These are my Tombow markers. Um, I got a few sets of these. I like that there is a brush in. And then you got the little thin tip. For your details and, and and such. So I got those handy. These are really nice. I go to these a lot. Um, this is called Super Bright by Crazy Art. And they're not. They're not super bright. Sorry. They're terrible. Um, this is the Cohen Norm Magic Pencils 3-in-1. The big ones. The big, big um, triangular this. What's these? Um, and this is the one that you can get. This set you get in the tin, the tritone. These are smaller. Okay. But I think that these work better, the big ones. I really like these. My only problem is I don't have a, a sharpener for these. I bought one that it said worked with them, but they don't. So I just use a knife and just a razor blade or whatever, and I just cut them down old school style. But look how pretty. They just, they're just so pretty. I think I use the earth tones and the greens the most, maybe the yellows, especially like for woods and trees. It makes it look natural with all the different colors in it. The forest, the rain, the meadow, they all look so beautiful, you know, when you're doing um, flowers and stuff. This is my polychromos, my little babies that I love. My polys and my prismas are my favorite. So these are all the ones that I have. Love them. They're just so beautiful and they work so good. And then this is Crayola Extreme Colors. I don't see anything extreme about these. Do you? Nope. Terrible. These are the Prisma Very Thins. This is one of the first sets I bought years and years ago. Before I started coloring, I had these for art. They're nice. They work good. But they are not Prisma Premieres. Let me tell you that. These are Derwent Metallic Watercolors. And I use these a lot too. They're pretty. They don't really look too metallic, do they? But, you know, it is what it is. We get close to the end. This is some more Derwent ink tents. Oh, that's what it was. I went and bought the whole full set recently. So, um, I went back and 
haven't swatched the set of them because they're gorgeous. So these blend out so well, y'all. I love these. I just did like a line and then I just um, blended it out. Look how pretty they are. And then I blended some colors together. The rainbow. Oh my gosh. See, I had got the starter set first a long time ago when I was doing um, art journaling. Um, and then recently when it started coloring, I was like, oh my God, I got to get the whole set. So this is the the rest of them that weren't, you know, that were already in that set. This is my Ohuhu markers. These are the markers that started it all for me. They're really pretty, but... I have to say, um, this has been at least a year and a half now on this page, and I've used them a lot, and they run out fast, I find. Maybe I'm just heavy-handed, I don't know, but you do have to go over and over and over again to try to, you know, that line that you get when you have, um, when you're doing markers. <sighs> Even with the trick about going over it in circles and circles and circles like that, going over it still leaves all those lines, and I can't stand that. But they, they did blew through. So, just note, check that out. But, uh, oh, God, this video is getting long and winded. So, um, that's my flip through. And if you have any questions about any of these or you want to see them more in depth, because some of these I didn't do a video. I just forget. I put my stuff up. Um, just let me know at the bottom and I'll be glad to show you guys. No problem at all. If you have any questions about them, you want me to do a bigger tutorial on them or whatever, just let me know. Um, if you haven't hit that sub, guys, please hit the sub for me and I would appreciate a thumbs up. That helps my channel out a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.